Hello. Coffee time. I need to pull the claws back. There we go. <sighs> what if you lay next to me? That would be much easier for both of us. And here we go. And a three. And a two. And a one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Today is Monday, June 22nd, 2020. My name is Jeremy, and this is my first cup of coffee. Ah, it's probably a little hotter than it needs to be. Hmm. Well, I hope you had a great weekend. I did. Spent a lot of time outside on Saturday, and honestly did not do a lot yesterday. I just, I was... It's hot out. We're going to have... I don't know, like the 5th, 6th, 7th day in a row of 90 degrees here, which for many of you in this country and around the world, 90 degrees is not a big deal. However, it is here. To hit 90 multiple days in a row is a big deal. To hit 90 this many days in a row is kind of crazy. Uh, last year, I believe we did that once in May. We had three days in a row in, of 90. And here we are in June with what I believe is going to be six or seven by the time we're done. Uh, well, sat yeah, so Saturday, went to the beach, and beach around here doesn't always mean the ocean. Um, in fact, it doesn't always even mean lakes. It can mean rivers, it can mean reservoirs, and in this case, it was a river. And the sand, the stones were so hot that you had to rush from where you were down to the water. It was... And, and I've got pretty durable feet from all the martial arts and all the barefoot. I've got really good calluses. I don't know how other people were doing it because I could barely do it. And it was nice just to be in the water. I did get a bit of a sunburn. I wore a hat the whole time, so no sunburn on top of my head. I've learned that lesson the hard way. There's no, The skin up there is not conditioned to, to defend against the sun. But i got the sunburn on my shoulders. and You might notice I'm wearing the summer robe, the very shiny... Uh, some have, have compared it to the Hugh Hefner robe. Uh, there are very few robes out there that aren't really heavy. And I've got two heavy robes. And it just, it's summer now. I had to put away the, the heavy robe. Right, Cat? But what else happened this weekend? Cleaned up the house, did some dishes, took a nap yesterday. That was great. Managed to keep the house cool enough that I was able to take a nap. Watching the TV. That's about it. There's not been a lot going on. And that's kind of typical what it's... Oh, the deck is finished. Um, obviously, we're not doing the show out there today. Maybe tomorrow. i got to plan ahead on this, because I've got a bunch of plants out there, and I've got to rearrange them. Uh, so we've got a good background. And uh, we'll see. Yeah. Should be able to do that but I'll have to remember. We'll do that. We'll do that one day. Maybe this week. I also have no idea how loud it would be, me talking out there, and what my neighbors would hear. So I want to be respectful of them. You know who's not being respectful right now is this cat. You need to settle down. Right here. You sit right there. No, right there. Right there's fine. What's going on today? Today's Monday, which means we've got an episode. Whose episode is out today? I think I know. Yep. Hmm. Today's episode is with Sheehan Charles Garrett. A really interesting gentleman, and we spent a lot of time talking about not only his story, but, yeah, but the man he learned martial arts from, and I'm not going to ruin the story, so I'll let you experience that. You can check that out here on YouTube or in your podcast feed, or you can go to whistlekickmartialartsradio.com. Yeah, yeah, I've got an interview scheduled for tomorrow. What else happening today? Uh, 
I'm going to go help my client. We're, we're counting down the days. By the end of the month, the office will be completely virtual, and I won't have to drive there anymore, which means I'll have, I'll be getting out of the house less, which means I'll save money on gas, but where else am I going to go? I'm going to have to get an office somewhere. I don't know. I don't want to. But I know from experience that working from here every day, especially when it's 90 degrees, I don't do well. The office I have here, it's the hottest room in the house. I have an air conditioning unit. I can put it in if it's if I'm going to be working in there. There's a, there's a pride element. There's something in there I've noticed in not using an air conditioner. I don't know what it is about that. <sighs> right, Kat? Uh, what else going on? Went to the gym yesterday. That was nice. Yeah. Alright. Let's see what you all wrote in. I'm finding I don't have much to say. We got... It's funny. The, when, when this one here makes an appearance, you all seem to really like it. My co-host, Zuza. You want to say hi? <laughs> She's looking at the camera. Good girl. Let go. Is that, every time she shows up, I get comments. You know, this, this last one from Richard, the Zuza machine. And I'm pretty sure I have cat hair on my beard now. Stacy says, hi, kitty. Management, these are from Frank. Thank you, Frank. Management is doing things right. Leadership is doing the right things. And good morning, Stacy. And that quote is from Peter Drucker and Warren Bennis. Management is doing things right. Leadership is doing the right things. It is very easy in business, especially working for yourself, to get really busy, really bogged down doing things. But are they the right things? And my need to stay busy, to stay productive, has kept me doing a lot of the wrong things. I do a lot of the wrong things. I've gotten better about that. I've gotten better at not feeling guilty that I'm done with work at 3 p.m. It's not that big of a deal. And when I consider it, if I consider this to be work, if I consider some of these other things that happen in the morning on the weekends to be work, it's not like I'm not working. It's not like I'm not putting in a full week's work. I'm doing plenty of work. But I was raised and taught that you have to work a lot and really hard to be successful. And I've been unlearning that. I've read books about management that work two days a week. That this, this high-level executive's theory was that if he had to be in the office more than two days a week, he had the wrong people on his team. I don't know that I fully agree, but I can see circumstances where I agree. I've never been a high-level executive in an organization that you know I've had dozens of people reporting to me. I think the biggest that the computer consulting firm got was 15. And we only had two locations, and we had a flat hierarchy. Because I was young and idealistic. If I had to do it again, there would be much more of a hierarchy. Because then, everything wouldn't fall to me. It's the thing I didn't realize. And having that hierarchy that way, it all came back to me. Everybody's concerns came to me. Could have done better. Efficient management without effective leadership is, as one individual phrased it, like straightening deck chairs on the Titanic. Stephen Covey. Uh, Stephen Co Covey wrote... Um, what is it? The seven habits of highly effective people. Let's think about this in terms of martial arts and martial arts classes. How many martial arts instructors step onto the floor with no plan? They never have a plan. 
and they just teach things. And they find six months later, oh, this person doesn't know this for form, and uh, this person would be ready for testing, but we haven't sparred in forever. Yeah. It happens. It happens a lot more than you might think. Now, on the other side of the spectrum, there are schools that have the curriculum on, on a rotational basis where everything is covered, every class is planned out. And then most schools are in the middle. I'm in the middle. I actually tend to more towards the disorganization because I look at who's there and I look at what the goals are and I look at what hasn't happened recently. Now, back when I had my own school, I would usually go in with a couple ideas. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. I actually, the first and only computer program I ever tried to write had to do with randomly generating a martial arts class, drills, and, and everything else. It was a lot harder than I wanted it to be, and I stopped doing it. There's some really interesting things now that you can do. And on the far side of all this training development that we're doing, I am hoping there will be the resources to invest. Um, I've got a really interesting idea for kind of a drag and drop class that you can designate blocks and then pick from those blocks and get some reporting. Oh, last time you did this drill was here. You know. That would be cool. But for now, we're working on other stuff. I'm hoping to work on the uh, more on the fight conditioning. I started working on that, that spreadsheet on Friday. But what I realized was it's too much of a creative endeavor. For me, creative endeavors have to be the first thing I do. If I'm once I start digging into, you know, tasks and left brained and move crows. Yay crows. There's half a dozen crows that moved in. And they're just they're really loud. They're the worst neighbors. Can you hear that? It's just screaming. <laughs> so yeah, creative stuff in the morning. First thing. When I can sit down and usually knock out an hour to two hours of that. And if I wasn't having to get in a car and drive, I would do that today. But it'll probably happen tomorrow. These programs are tough. And they will come out when they come out. One more quote. Don't bother trying to explain your big ideas to little people. And that's un unattributed. <sighs> Could be the title of my autobiography. So many of the things that I have tried to do in life. I've had other people tell me. Well, that won't work. You can't do that. Yada, yada. And these are people who can barely tie their own shoes. And I don't mean that literally, but... When you're trying to change the world, most people aren't going to get it. Trying to change the world. Most people aren't going to get it. Those of you that pay attention to what we're doing here at Whistlekick, there's a good chance that you get it. Maybe you don't. Maybe you just like laughing at me. Maybe you enjoy the interviews on the, pod, on the podcast. I don't know. I don't know why you do it. And it almost doesn't matter. Because I'm at a point where I'm not going to let other people's opinions affect me. I'm going to continue trying to change the world via martial arts. I wish I could go back. I wish I could take the, the confidence that I have with how I approach business and, I don't want to say life, but my stability with my own beliefs. I wish I could go back and, and kind of teach that to the younger version of me. It took a long time. 
I am barely shedding the the part of me that cares a lot about what other people think. It's been there a long time. And we could go into why it's there, but we're not going to. But it's there. And I'm working on it. And it's getting better. And I'll continue to work on it until it's gone. we're going to call it there. Shorter episode today, but that's okay. Now, it's Monday, so go listen to that episode with Sheehan Charles Garrett. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments either here on YouTube or maybe at whistlekickmarshallartsradio.com. If you haven't, signed up for the newsletter. We've got them coming out weekly now. They're a little shorter, a little more focused. There's more going on with them. So check those out. If you want to support what we're doing, you know what you can do. Tons of stuff you can do tell you every episode of the podcast twice but here maybe you only watch first cup make a purchase using the code first cup 15 to save 15 percent at whistlekick.com or contribute to the patreon p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com slash whistlekick and you'll get access to exclusive content writings photos videos programs book drafts we put a lot of stuff out there it's those are the people who are most supportive, so those are the people who get the most stuff out of us. It's business, right? Value exchange. All right. Well, I'll see you back here tomorrow. And if you have stuff, and I hope you do have stuff that I can respond to, questions, comments, quotes, drop it below, and I'll respond to it tomorrow because we do the show every weekday, 6.30 a.m. Eastern, here on YouTube. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you then. Take care, everybody.